What up, Phantom Thieves? Uh, woke up this morning, and I don't know why, but I get, I was watching this guy's video about Tears of the Kingdom, because now apparently that's out everywhere, right? And it got me thinking about where the state of video gaming is overall. And while we have a lot of good video games out, the overall state, like if we're, if you're a video gamer, to me, the overall state of video gaming is really weird right now. Like, you know, we got the whole Redfall fiasco. We have Tears of the Kingdom leaking out everywhere. Uh, you know, people are mad because Aloy is kissing on girls and all this crazy stuff, right? And it just, I just wanted to make a video about where I think video gaming is. Uh, whenever I do these rants, I always got to come to Warframe. I always got to chill in the dojo, you know, for serenity. But, yeah, video gaming is in a very weird... Let me turn... I, I don't want that to mess up, but... Video gaming is in a very weird space. Like, I'm 32 years old. I've been playing video games since I was four you know, and it goes without saying, of course, video games have came so far, just like everything else has, but man, I watch people's YouTube videos and, you know, they talk about how, oh, I can't play a game that's 30 frames per second. Nobody saying 60 frames or even 120 frames aren't better that they don't make a better gaming experience, but if if it matters that much to you, play on PC, because then you don't have to worry about playing on the Switch like I am, or you don't have to worry about playing on Xbox or PlayStation where your frames will be limited. Like, I respect everybody's viewpoint on how they want their gaming experience, but... To say that you cannot play a video game because it runs 30 frames, if you want to limit yourself to missing out on exceptional video games because of that, by, by all means, go ahead. I can't do it. Um, I played a game called Samurai Maiden. Doesn't run very well, but it's fun. Um, Tears of the Kingdom. It probably is going to struggle to run 30 frames. But there is no way I'm missing that game. Now, do I think it should run better? Especially when you're upcharging another $10? Yes, I do. But am I going to skip it completely? No. Not a chance. I always, I find it so funny nowadays how gamers are so fixated on frames. Like, especially us older gamers. Where we used to play video games for the fun of it. I don't understand for the life of me how you're so infatuated on I cannot play a game like they're literally saying I cannot play a game that runs 30 frames that is odd to me that is odd that is crazy to me just like you know transitioning over right I don't understand why people are so at arms about this whole Horizon Forbidden West DLC where Aloy's kissing on girls. Like, if you don't like it, and I ain't trying to get all real world because, you know, obviously a lot of people are sensitive to what you talk about now. So I'm just going to say, if you don't like that aspect, don't play the DLC. Don't buy it. But to be up in arms for something that's not directly affecting you, like, do I like that certain agendas are being pushed in video games? No. Because as a gamer... Video games are supposed to be my safe haven where I can get away from all this stuff. So the fact that some of this is being pushed into games, kind of unfortunate, but it's not directing me affected. You know, it's not directly affecting me. Now, if it does start to, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem if it directly starts to affect me. But it's not. For the time being, it's not. You know, there's there's been some questionable choices in the gaming room as of late but it it is what it is you know 
I feel like even game developers now feel like they have to cater to certain people. And if that's how they feel, they're the ones making the game. If I don't support the decisions, I won't buy the game. But, you know, that, that that's the state of where gaming is right now. We're, we're catering towards certain people. And it, it just it just frustrates me, man. Because instead of us just playing video games and enjoying what we like, we'd rather talk about this. We'd rather talk about how... We, you know, we'd rather leak out games that are super anticipated just to get likes and views on social media. Not that, and that's another thing, man. Social media, if there's anything that's going to be the downfall of video games, it is social media. Like, everybody on social media thinks that their point is beyond valid. If you post it on social media, you have to agree with the masses. If not then you're this and you're that. And it's like, that's why I don't go on social media like that. Because because of this reason right here. I want to come home. I want to grab this controller on my PlayStation 5 or Series S controller. And I want to just go through this. I want to look at this. And I want to scroll through and find a video game and play it. Frames aside, whatever the case. I want to come home and play video games. I don't want to worry about... What somebody said on Twitter. I don't want to worry about what somebody said on Facebook. You know. I do want to say to you leakers out there. Y'all are trash. Y'all are y'all are pieces of garbage. I want y'all to know that for real. Y'all do this. Like data miners. Okay I get it. Because data miners for the most part don't leak out stuff. But for the people that are leaking out games. Y'all, y'all are trash. Like the, these developers, and I'm not saying they're all, you know, perfect, but they go through so much and they show us what they want to show us. And y'all just go out and ruin it, not only for them and their hard work, for pe- but for people that don't want to be spoiled. And I get so tired of people saying, well, if you don't want to spoil it, don't go on social media. So, I, so people can't even go on YouTube now. And just look at their regular stuff without seeing a big old spoiler posted everywhere. I made a video about that all over a year ago about, you know, people posting spoilers in their stuff, you know, and it's like people really go out of their way to spoil stuff, to leak stuff. Just And a lot of people do it just for the likes, just for the clicks. And don't nobody even know half of who y'all are for real. But again, that's where we're at in gaming. Now, me, personally, like I said, I just want to come home, pick up my sticks. Y'all see the avatar at the other side, at the bottom of the screen right there? You know what I'm saying? I think I got it right there, right? Y'all see it. At the bottom right, y'all see it. That's me. I want to come home, hop on the headset, talk trash, play video games. That's it. I don't want to talk about, oh my gosh, uh, this game is running 59.67 frames per second. It's not a solid 60. The game sucks. Go outside and touch grass. How about that? How about you do that first? Before you worry about the 59.67 frames, go outside and touch grass. Because if it makes you that mad, you got a problem. You got a problem. You have a problem. If a girl kissing another girl makes you that upset, go outside and touch grass. Because you got a problem. Like, and like I said, it's so weird. You know, if you want to leak stuff for clicks or you want to leak stuff just to spoil stuff for other people, you should stay inside because you probably in your grandmama basement with your drawers on, you know, got cookie crumbs all on your shirt and stuff, you know, because that's the kind of person you are. But overall, man, the state of gaming is just, it's, it's, it's weird. You know, I remember a time where people used to come home Get on the Xbox and, you know, Modern Warfare 2 was the hot stuff, man. If you was playing Modern Warfare 2 and you had online, man, we was trash talking each other, but we was having fun. Now it seems like games are so technologically advanced and hyper-realistic that while fun, it seems like gaming nowadays is more about who can draw the most controversy, not about who makes the funnest games. Like... You know it's bad 
when Phil Spencer does an interview and, you know, and a lot of people are giving him props, but it's like, yo, Redfall got trashed. And to me, Redfall looks like Left 4 Dead. Does it, is it more barren? Yeah, it looks more barren. I haven't played the game officially. I watched my homeboy play a lot of it. You know, he's probably put seven, eight hours in and it looks more barren, but it reminds me of Left 4 Dead. I love Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. You know, if I ever get Game Pass back, I might play it. And and speaking of, that's another thing. This dude, Phil Spencer, wants to try to make things right. But I feel sorry for Xbox gamers, like the ones that really champion Xbox. They've outright come out and said, you don't need a series if you want to enjoy their games. And that's okay, but it's like, you know... They're trying to they're trying to broaden the Microsoft Xbox ecosystem. I wouldn't even call this the Xbox generation, this generation. I would call it the Game Pass generation because they champion Game Pass. And Phil said it's always going to be about the console first. He could have fooled me. He could have fooled me. I don't see them talking. They talk more about the Series S. Than they did the Series X. And it's supposed to be the most powerful console. But that's neither here nor there. The 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 whole point about that is. You know. Enjoy. Your Game Pass ecosystem. Because honestly. This time. It's, it, it's not about the Xbox. I got one. Because I traded in my One X and all that stuff. You know. Got it super cheap. But. I don't really care for Game Pass. I don't. I think it's a great deal. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really care for Game Pass like that. So the Game Pass ecosystem doesn't directly correlate with me. I just want to play their games, and a lot of them. I like that's the thing with my PlayStation to Xbox. It really ain't about the exclusives. My main exclusives are on Nintendo. We all know that too. Like that. That's me being biased. I'll be straight up honest with that. It's Nintendo stuff, but you know. That, that man, I just I, I wish gaming was more simple again. Not the games themselves. I like how games have evolved, but all the controversy around video gaming. I wish there was less of it. But we're also in a day and age where controversy gets you the views, it gets you the clicks, the likes, the subscribers. And, you know, as far as being a content creator, of course, and I've always said I'm ne I'm never mad that people put out certain content because if it works for you and it's feeding your family, I'm you know, salute to you. But, you know, and I even say on my, my account, you know, on my channel, you know, we've surpassed the 500, man. Incredible achievement. I notice my views get more. I get more views when I do stuff like this, when I just sit here and talk versus when I actually play games. Because now, it seems now being a content creator, people want to know, people want to know more about gaming than they actually want to experience the gaming, at least in the realm of content creating. People want to hear more about it versus seeing you do it. Nobody... Nobody wants me to come in here and, you know, bullet jump or bullet jump and double jump and slide and, you know, get into a mission. And nobody wants to see me come in here and show off my rail jack and all this stuff. Right. People want to hear me talk about the state of something. And if y'all notice from a Mass Effect fans out there, we got the Normandy, you know what I'm saying? But that's where we're at. And. I want to know in the comments what you guys think about the state of video games overall. Not on no console war stuff, but like I said, you know, the controversies of, you know, certain things being promoted in video games and, you know, frame rates being such a ish, such a big thing where people will legitimately skip games or, you know, how Xbox has basically said, hey, you don't need a system. All, all you need it all you need is this all you need is an iPad or an Android phone or whatever the case is and you can play our games and it's good that they're getting them out there but it's like what about the console gamers though 
what about us? You know, that that's, to me, the, the overall, I know I've spouted a bunch of stuff, and some of y'all may think it's complete whatever, but gaming overall right now is in a weird state, and I hope it gets better before it gets worse. I hope it gets better before it gets worse. But uh, I think I've done enough rambling. Uh, if you guys made it this far, you know, subscribe to the channel. Drop the comments on what you guys think overall. And uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Fridays, I typically don't do anything else. I might drop a short for you guys or something. But like I said, thanks for watching the video, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Take it easy.